Welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. I'm Special K, and tonight we're going to be reviewing a very uh, classic beer. Classic. We have Fall City Beer. It's 4.5% alcohol by volume. Mm. It is an all grain pilsner. This is mm -hmm. their original recipe. They brought it back for a very limited amount of time. Fall City, as you know, went out of business. In what the 80s, uh, maybe the 70s. They're back though. They they came back with well, the craft were, brew type stuff. They were stuff. bought out. The name was bought out, and then they um, they started bringing craft beer underneath of it. Um, and then everybody's like, "Whoa, where's your where's your old where's your original beer at?" And then that they is like, what they got big off of. Um, so they finally brewed this beer again. Uh, I'm curious as if they try to make it crafty or they try to make it like their original beer. Uh, I don't know. I never had their original beer. Uh, I don't know if I was, I don't know how old I was when, when they closed down, but it didn't matter because I didn't live in Kentucky at the time. Couldn't get it. Uh, so, 4.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Okay. okay. Um, with Fall City, there's a feeling, uh, there's a feeling of comfort and nostalgia in stories of your grandpa working at the old brewery on 30th and Broadway, that red oval sign hanging in your parents' basement. Yeah, these are, you see the signs everywhere. There's not a whole lot of smell coming out of this can. Um, it's surprisingly more cloudy than I expected it to be. It's cloudy. Oh, I look at that. Yeah, it doesn't. You can't see any pieces floating around it, but it is. It is definitely a touch hazy. It smells like a typical pilsner, though. Works for me. Face it. I, I can. I can accept that. Ah. Sorry, sort of lightly grassy lemon. Mm -hmm. There's lemon in this. There's definitely some sort of lemon. Uh, it kind of tastes like a... It kind of tastes like a micro beer. Mm. Like that's kind of what they're going for on this. It tastes like a mass-produced kind of micro beer. It, it's good. It reminds mm -hmm. me... It doesn't have any corn syrup flavor in it. It's got which corn is, flavor in it, though. No, nah, no, nah, I'm talking about that, like... Yeah, that you know beer. when you drink uh, when you drink uh, beer and it like coats the top of your mouth. Yeah, that's not happening, which is nice. I accept that. Thank you. It's got sweetness to it on the back end there. Um, it just reminds me of a better adjunct, basic lager, yeah. kind of style beer. It works for me. I uh, like it. It's, it's drinkable. Seven ninety nine for a six pack. Um, they sh these cans are shrink wrapped, which is kind of cool, I, I guess. Yeah, the shrink wrap. Oh, look at that. Like a plastic yeah. type thing going on. A lot of craft brewers are switching to this instead of um, painting the cans. It's cheaper. Yeah. I can't understand how that's cheaper than paint. I just, I mean, it must work, but. Well, it allows them, that's to, crazy. It allows them to switch between breweries easier. Yeah, I guess so. They can just buy a bulk of, a huge bulk of blank cans. Whatever works for them. I uh, I do like this though. It's it's uh, for seven bucks. That's not bad. Um, it's just a basic pilsner. I'm sure. I, obviously, I'm too young to have had the original. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna give one of these to my grandpa and see, uh, see, see what he, he says. See if he thinks he, it's he's the same a, thing. He's been drinking since the '70s. So he's I'm quite sure. knowledgeable about beer in general. Yeah, he's been drinking <laughs> a case a day for 50 years. So, man's a legend. Uh. Now I uh, I think that's pretty good for seven bucks. Now there's some other seven dollar six packs that are pretty good. I mean uh, this is definitely a summertime beer. I don't think. I oh yeah. It's kind of crisp, refreshing. This is this is your grass one beer here. Uh, I'm gonna go and rate this. I think it's a six and a half. Mm -hmm. um, it's above average. It's going toward. It's almost good. It's almost to that good range. Ah, it's it's pretty much there. Yeah, it's pretty much to that good range. It's not great. It's good. I would have absolutely no problem drinking this. It would be a great beer pong beer, grass cutting, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, however, you know, seven ninety nine for this style of beer, it's kind of pricey, but it's not like out of the ballpark. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I think this should be closer to five ninety nine or six ninety nine. Um, but I mean, it's it's there. It's, you know, it's all right. I think it's pretty good. I, I would I would I would pull down a seven for this. I'll pull a seven out of my wallet for this. This is nice. Uh, for for seven dollars for a six pack, it's just a little bit more than a dollar per beer, and it doesn't have any like, it doesn't have any uninviting flavors, and it does have a few inviting flavors. I, I like that a lot. I would uh, I would definitely pay seven dollars for that again. I mean, there's definitely nothing offensive in the flavor. Mm. 
And it definitely has more flavor than like a Budweiser or something like that. Would it's got you a very interesting that, sweetness though. Would you suggest that people buy this? Um, if you live in Kentucky or anywhere that just still distributes Fall City beer, uh, yeah, I'd try it at least once. Um, it's definitely, like I said, a summer kind of beer. Um, mm -hmm. I love the fact that they use their own label on here. Uh, and it's texture. It is. It's got a weird texture on the outside of the can. I also think you ought to get, get hold of this. If you can, you might as well get a six pack of this. You're going to enjoy it. Here. You're going to enjoy it. I was thinking about doing that exact same thing, but I didn't want to do it during the video. But since we're at the end of the video, who cares? All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.